Hey guys, Barry here. I just wanted to mention that this video is part of a course that I have on Udemy. If you'd like to support my work and get the full course, please use the link in the description below to get it at a discounted price. Thanks guys, back to the video. What is up guys, my name is Barry Michael Doyle and I would like to start off by thanking you so much for supporting my work by checking out this course. Over here we have a fully functioning Sudoku application. This is what we will be building in the entire course, so this is the final product. Uh, the wonderful thing about this is it actually works. If I look for something to fill in, uh, let me just check it out. I, I'm just going to be lazy and cheat here, but 6 can either go there or there because it can't go in this column because there's a 6 up there blocking that and it can't go here or here because these two 6s are blocking that. So it has to go here or here. So I'm going to guess it's there and I'm incorrect. That means if I use my keyboard functions, I can hit six there. That was me typing the keyboard. I could also hit the numbers here. Uh, that means this is something else. That's not the way to play it. You shouldn't be playing it by trying to check and just see if it fails. You should actually just be doing it by a process of elimination. Uh, but the way that we're building this app, there's so many different ways you can implement a Sudoku application that I've just decided to go with this way because it was the easiest way to get it working and not screw up. We can obviously change it and edit it to work the way you want it to work if you get through the whole entire application. So the wonderful thing about this is we can create a new game and that's all good. If I refresh my page, it keeps my old board, nothing, nothing happens. You can actually go away and come back and it would still work. We've got an offline mode for this, so it's quite cool. Once you've downloaded this and it, it didn't work, then you're, you're pretty, pretty good to go. Like I could actually disconnect my Wi-Fi and then I could go to React Sudoku, and when I go to the new tab, hopefully this actually works. There we go, it works. So I'm gonna get my Wi-Fi back now. Um, so there we go, we've got proven offline functionality. Obviously it doesn't work offline first time, but if you've downloaded it once, it saves it in the cache and it works offline. Also, this is a progressive web app. Just using the Create React App Service Workers, we're able to install this as like a desktop app, which is pretty much just a link to the actual like browser kind of site thing. It just opens up a little window and it, it acts as a browser. So it's quite wonderful what, what Google's been doing with their progressive web app stuff. I think other browsers are starting to take that on too these days. This app is mobile friendly, so we are pretty much good to go. If we change this to an iPhone, we can see that that's mobile friendly. These are my views in my browser. I just click this little toggle device toolbar here and it's, it does that. And this is, I got this from inspecting my element. I think the only thing left to really say is, let me just tell you the rules of Sudoku so this is less confusing. Basically, we have this nine by nine grid. And this grid is split into nine, nine blocks or squares, I kind of use those words interchangeably. And in each square, you've got to have the numbers from one to nine with no duplicates. So one to nine has to be in this square, one to nine has to be in this square, one to nine has to be in this square, all the way through. You also can't have the same duplicate number in the same column or the same row. So we look at the square, there's not many options in here. So here you have one, two, three, there's four missing and five, six is missing. So we know that a four and a, a six can go in here, but we can't really see from anything else what, what will make it a four or a six. So we have to look somewhere else to try and find out like, okay, where, where can I put something? I'm trying to scan through this quickly. I can actually see, once you play this game enough, you see a lot of patterns, but I can see in this square, I'm missing a seven. Um, so a seven can't go here or here because of the seven here. And it can't go here because of the seven here. And they can't go there because of the seven here. So if it can't go there, 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 or there, I, I'm gonna use my keyboard for this, can, or I can just click the button seven. Hit seven goes over there, so I know that. And that's pretty much how this game works. It's a process of elimination. It's quite a cool little puzzle thing. Anyways, I'm gonna show you how to build this entire application from scratch. So I hope you're looking forward to the course. If you do have any questions along the way, please use the Q&A section. And if you do enjoy the series throughout, if you find it's fun, please give me a positive rating. That really helps me a lot. Cool. Anyways, I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for checking out this course. Cheers, guys.